Hi everyone, Dave here at Byerly RV in Eureka, Missouri. Today, we're gonna to take a look at a 2020 Wildwood X-Lite Model 24RL XL. However, before we do that, just real quick, I wanna remind everybody, thanks for watching. If you like our videos, please give it a quick like. The more people that like it, the more people that will see it. Give us a share if you haven't already done so. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Instagram and Twitter to keep up with the latest news and videos. Also, another reminder, you can come into Byerly RV, you can phone into Byerly RV, and you can also email and text individual departments from our website, and be sure to check out the Byerly RV online parts catalog while you're on the website. Okay, back to the unit we're gonna do today. Again, it is a 2020 Wildwood X-Lite 24RL XL. One thing about the X-Lite line is they're trying to make it easier to tow. So you'll see right off the bat that we've got a really nice curved front end, help the airflow over this better. It's also a little bit lighter weight. The X-Lite comes in, this one is a little over 5,200 pounds empty. Uh, we'll start right up front, you know, just because it's lightweight and things like that and inexpensive at $22,995 doesn't mean that we're skimping on any of the features or quality. What I mean by that, right up front, we've got a power tongue jack. This is nice. Uh, that way we don't have to crank, obviously, and it's got a little light here for our convenience. Behind the propane bottles, you'll see a battery disconnect switch. That battery disconnect switch, you know, that's one of those little things that you don't find on other things in this price point. Um, if you don't already know, and a lot of us do know, that if we do not disconnect our battery between usages, the battery will go dead. There's certain things in here that'll run it down. It's very, very convenient to be able to just hit the switch. You don't have to disconnect your battery or anything like that. Um, right up front here, here's the uh, solar charge port. So you can get solar panels. We sell solar panels here. You have to have solar panels that have a little charge controller built into them. Little portable panels, we have those here. You can plug them in right there and it'll keep the battery maintained and things like that. Um, storage compartment, it's got a nice big storage compartment door. They finished this compartment out extremely well. I wanna show you here, this is another thing that we just don't get often anymore is all my sets of little um, things that I might need to do things like I can use this to run the power tongue jack up and down if I don't have a battery or if something's wrong with it. I've got a little adapter here so I can run my stabilizer jacks up and down with a power drill. And I have my tool here for my JT strong arms. What are JT strong arms you might ask? Well, JT strong arms are an aftermarket product that has been around for a long time to help with the additional stabilization of your camper while you're camping. What I mean by that, scissor jacks are very stable one way, but not necessarily the other way. So the JT strong arm, which is the yellow bar you see right here, this creates a third or a second uh, connection point to the frame and it stabilizes the scissor jack in the other way. So now we're stabilized this way and this way. Guys, JT strong arms have been on the market for a long time. They're a relatively expensive aftermarket product to help with stabilization, but they're also some of the best. That comes standard on this Wildwood x Lite that you see here. Again, 24 RL XL at 22,995. Now, we'll continue down the side. It's got a really nice power awning. It's big, it covers my door. Um, speaking of the door, I've got my solid step entry here and we'll just kind of head on up in here. The Wildwood X-Lite 24RL XL interior is a great example of what Wildwood has done with all of their products. They've really kind of revamped the inside. It's brighter in here. We've got a nice herringbone pattern floor really, really nice window treatments. And folks, this has got just your regular pull down shades. I mean, this is just easy, they work. It's the kind of stuff you see in high end motorhomes and everything like that. Um, you'll see like next to the couch, this is a jackknife sofa. So this will create, this is making a sleeping if you want. On either side of the sofa, we have 110 outlets and USB ports so for our charging. Um, storage above, of course. And then uh, over here on the dinette, this is, you know, so the dinette, it's a, it's a big U-shaped dinette. U-shaped dinettes make bigger beds for your guests. This is an adult size sleeping area when it needs to be. One of the best parts about Wildwood, folks, these guys, this is another one of these campers that they've been building these in the same building for many, many years, the same people. And also they've been doing it a long time and they listen to their clients and they listen to the feedback that they get from us. And the, one of the best examples of that is, you know, we've got great storage underneath the dinette. Well, guess what? They give us, provide us with the containers that fit right in. Guys, this is like 
you, you know, you buy a Ferrari or a Corvette and it's got luggage that was built to fit into the, into the vehicle. That's what this is, you guys. They know that we use totes when we camp. So they give us totes that fit right in, okay? You'll see that also when we get back into the bedroom. Uh, also, before we do that, though, let's talk a little bit about the entertainment center here. We have a spot for your TV. We have your digital wall thermostat to control your air conditioner and your furnace. We have a little entertainment center here. Um, this is AM, FM, stereo, Bluetooth, and then there's an HDMI port here so you could set like a DVD player or whatever or a gaming system and plug it right in. A fireplace. Okay, seriously, 24 or 22995 ultralight vehicle and we've got a fireplace. Why would you want a fireplace? Well, this is a great built-in electric space heater. A lot of us will travel with a space heater because when we paid for our campsite, we've paid for all the electric we want to use. And so if I can use the electric to heat it instead of my propane, it saves me a little bit of money. Also, this makes a really, really awesome nightlight if you have some guests. That's what my daughter told me. Um, rounding out in the kitchen here, we've got nice seamless countertops, the latest and greatest in stove covers, right? Um, nice little residential fixtures, a big window, uh, oven, or excuse me, range with oven, spark igniter, stainless steel appliances. This, you guys, oh my goodness. So this is the Everchill 12 volt compressor driven refrigerator. So this is gonna fit into about the same size as a regular fridge, but it's compressor driven, so it doesn't need to be leveled to work properly. And it's also 10.7 cubic feet. This thing is awesome, you guys. This is literally like the best refrigerator in the business, I think right now. Um, into the bathroom, oh my goodness, the 24RL XL has this awesome, awesome bathroom. It's a walkthrough bath. This is like the perfect couples camper. Um, we've got things like I talk about extra counter space in the bathroom, extra storage space here and here and here, and a humongous shower to walk into here too. This thing is just great, you guys. Nice skylight, so it's bright in here and you can actually see beautiful tubs surround. And then we go back into the bedroom and also into the bathroom and the bedroom, we have pocket doors, right? So this saves us space. Definitely, uh, we don't have to have swinging doors, right? Not the cheapest way, but definitely the best way. Back here, okay, in the bedroom, they've made some subtle changes to kind of what we're used to. We have our hanging storage, right? But they've cut this hole here because they know a lot of clients have things like CPAP machines and stuff that need to plug into a regular 110 outlet, which I actually have inside here. They also know that we all have things that need to be charged every night. So I have USB ports right here. And remember earlier I did mention that fitted luggage? Well, here we go. Again, more totes that fit right in. This is exactly, again, these guys know how we camp. Um, and they're listening to us. We appreciate that. And then last but not least, the walk-in closet. So seriously, everybody, Wildwood 24 RL XL travel trailer. It's a little over 5,000 pounds, 22,995. Guys, this thing is absolutely awesome. If you're just looking for something, well, think about it this way. If you wanted to, you could put 20% down. If you qualify, you could have a payment under $200 a month. We make it really easy to do this, everybody. Um, there are more pictures available online if you look up the Wildwood 24 RL XL. Uh, give us a call. Again, you can call departments directly. You can email departments directly, text departments directly. You can come by. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Thanks for watching, everybody.